Hello, good morning. How are we all doing? Happy Sunday, everyone. PC building simulator, the board game. Do you know what? I wish I had a studio like this. I really do. That would be amazing. Look at the size of it. It's so nice. And a storage room as well. How good would that be? Man, I'd pile that with junk. <laughs> Heavy sent out a tent. Cool. Uh, so, Eidson, thank you for subbing just before the stream started. Flip the bird. <clears throat> thank you very much for gifting five subs. Welcome, guys. Thank you for your support, Flip. Appreciate that. Thank you, mate. Qubits, thanks for subbing. Welcome. Nut Slammer is acting up again. Why? What's he doing now? Uh, do you get the new Office Story mode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there was a DLC came out a couple of weeks ago. A free DLC that lets you do this extra stuff now. It's like a career mode thing with a story. And it puts you in the studio. Stone Viking, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome, sir. Yeah, so I can't remember exactly where it was up to. I remember, because <clears throat> I think it was last week we played this. <clears throat> I remember we had this lovely case that... Konnichiwa, squirrel Is that a job? I can't remember. Good morning, Mr. Squirrels, please, Scrove. <laughs> Scrove, D-Storm. Oh, yeah, I've had the money in space. It looks like an attic room, doesn't it? Because it's like obviously in the, uh, in the roof section. He gave you a new office as a reward. Yeah, I'm not sure. I need to check my emails and see where we're at with all this. Dear God. Uh, introducing Project Cash Money. Quick took a plan to dramatically increase our profits. Include juicy details and notes below. All the needs an image editing app. But if you want to run it properly, make sure I've got whatever hardware they recommend. My schedule's stacked, so I don't have time to drop my piece off. You'll have to come to my office instead. Why, though? Maybe you can look at my printer. Ran into some issues last week. I wanted to try making our promotional t-shirts to cut the cost. Oh, and could you try changing the desktop wallpaper to something a bit more finance director? Did we already do that one? Did we already do that one? I can't remember. Workshop CC. Morning, happen. Paul. Happy Sunday. Oh, we've done Time to do what IT support would say and turn people's computers off then back on again, Kapalal. Hey, you get paid to do it, Chris. Why not? I bet, I bet you there's an equivalent like in the plumbing world. Where the, where the boiler breaks down, they turn up, they just turn it off and back on, and it starts working. And they go, there you go, 100 and quid, please, thanks. Looks like we've done some of this, but not all of it. Run log show. I'm going to go. I'm going to go and visit them. I need to find out what's going on. I think we sorted the printer out. Yeah, that's all good. Now, I remember being here. Install a wallpaper themed PC can run. Oh, we must have ordered a part. Mugshot CC. We must have ordered something. That'll be what it is. Hang on a minute. Will it run? Mugshot CC. Was it recommended specs you wanted? Yeah, recommended spec. Install and work in. Okay. Yeah, we need a 1070 Ti which, with 8 gig of RAM. Uh, good morning from Portugal. Good morning. Yeah, so we need a 1070 Ti with 8 gig of RAM. I need to check if we ordered that. I'm trying to play catch up with where we were. All the parts have gone, so do we have it in our inventory? We have a 1070 Ti with 8 gig of RAM, so it looks like I ordered it, so we can go and install it. You almost caught up with this, got to level 7, can't get to accept when I've installed colored cables as requested. Hmm. I should probably turn it off, shouldn't I? Alright, there's a graphics card. Install. 
That's good. We've got a, a nice second N1060 out of it, which is great. Uh, PC parts. Which one was theirs, do you think? That one? Okay. We've got our USB drive in there. And remove was mug shots. And a wallpaper theme to cash is what we want. Uh, Ethan, thank you for 21 months. Uh, Paul, you can have a studio like this. Just move the family out of the shed and use the house as a studio. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a very popular move. Something that... Cash, there you go. That's cash. Just loads of euro coins. Oh, no, it doesn't like that. It doesn't like that one. It's not gone green. Apparently, that's not the correct wallpaper for cash. <laughs> Maybe there's one with notes on it. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. This one? No. That's a transparent bit. Eh? Money counting. Where was that one? I must have gone right past that. What? Where have you seen that? In the middle. Right, we're in the middle. It's all games. Third from bottom. Oh, there! God, I never see... I was literally looking for some hands with some cash, not a counting machine that's why I didn't see it anyway we're done we're done I think I need to go back to the office to uh, oh wait one second don't want to leave that it's expensive uh, let's see collect kerching $500 Many thanks. I'll crack on with the plan as soon as I get out of this meeting. Cool. Uh, we can discard that now. What's this one? Beautiful rainbow PC. Oh, oh, this was Emily. We made her a rainbow PC. We upgraded a PC to have like RGB all over it. And uh, she had it nicked. <laughs> can you find me some wallpaper that's arty? Oh, can you quickly put together a new one that runs Mugshot CC? Here we go. The thing is about that is she doesn't say whether it has to be recommended spec or minimum spec. But she wants us to quickly knock together a PC for her. Does she want it rainbow? Required by February the 4th. What is the date? Oh God, it's Tuesday. This is discard. We must have already done it. I think we sent it to the night shift, if I remember. Yeah, I, I've got a feeling we sent that to the night shift to do. Which is why we're on discard. Uh, could you look into upgrading my graphics card? I've got a party to plan. I've got ideas that involve 3D. I've also got two emails from Inti, the server engineer. The first one just said hi and nothing else. The second one said sorry. Big news. I've been asked to help some sort of hype reach launch party. Just to be clear, I'm inviting because they're helping with the project, not because of a good excuse to see that cute engineer again, but also that ha-ha. Can't wait to get started. I've got some fantastic theming plans, but I also want to try some ideas for a special 3D printed keepsake. I'll keep you posted. Upgrade the graphics card, run B-Linked, and can boot to an operating system. What's the graphics card then? 
1050 Ti. So what what car do we upgrade it to? I, I'm not really clear on that. Hey, Miko. I'm not exactly clear on what card they want. There's no specific card. There's no specific software. I know 3D is being mentioned. That involve 3D. It's very vague. I mean, we have a... We have that 1060 we just took out. We could try that. This one. Um, tools. Let's see what happens. Okay. It apparently accepts it. So we'll just run blinked. Uh, Kiva, thank you for seven months. Make sure we've installed the Trojan on this machine. The internet is a terrible place. Let Blink take you there. What's the terrible place? Connection established. Trojan installed. Okay, we're done. Place and delivery area. Collect. Pay 450, cost of parts 141. Wait a minute. I didn't buy any parts. Where does this come from? This was a freebie. I got this card out of another machine. I didn't spend 141 on that. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a complete lie. The second hand value of it. So it's basically deducting the cost of what we would have got if we'd have sold it second hand. That's a bit weird. What's this then? The data self-destructing mechanism on this PC has failed. I need you to erase everything on the drive. Replace the RAM as well. We can't risk that has got any data survives. I think you'll find it doesn't. It's possible the self-destruct mechanism was underpowered. Perhaps try upgrading the PSU to avoid future failures. What? What is this person smoking? No, sorry, I can't give you any more details. If I did, I'd have to kill you. Oh, boy. Right, what have you got in there? You've got a CX850, and you want to upgrade it. Hmm. Replace the RAM. So we need to buy... I presume we're going to have to buy the same thing. We're going to have to buy Patriot Viper 8 gig 2666 megahertz. I assume. And it's RGB one as well. And then upgrade the power supply up from... Where is it? The Corsa TX850. I don't think we have anything that powerful in stock. There is a new level of paranoia, I agree. Right. Viper RGB 266 8 gig. Let's get that done first. Viper RGB black 266, this one, 8 gig. It's just one of them. Was it one they had? Oh, no, I can't remember. How many slots have they got in there? Just the one. Oh, thanks for remembering where I was, game. That's really helpful. So one of those. And then power supply.
we want wattage minimum well they've got an 850 so we're going to need a thousand watts minimum for this i'm i'm guessing you do thu it says replace the ram so i'm guessing you have to replace it with the same thing that's my uh, current working theory i wouldn't want to try and chuck any old 8 gig in though because it might not tick the box for us They don't have the budget. That's a very good point. They're only paying $160. Hmm. How are we going to do that on $160? How can we upgrade an 850 watt power supply and replace the RAM for $160? That's not going to happen. Maybe I send this one to the night shift. <laughs> Let them worry about that one. That's that's a really weird request. I mean, that part alone is 120 just for the rem. And anything we buy power supply is going to be $250. So something's not right here. Maybe it's expecting us to have something in stock. I don't know. When you played this a long time ago, it was enough to have the same capacity speed or better manufactured, not matter. Well, we could stick that in. That's a faster RAM. It sells for $40. That would save us some money. You could try putting that in, though. But as for power supplies, I literally don't have anything that would be an upgrade on an 850. I think we'll do. We'll ditch that. We'll put it back in the box over here. And then we'll night shift that one. Uh, bad news. What's this? Rosen O'Leary. It's all in bits over here. It wasn't a software glitch after all because those figures still aren't adding up. There's a good bit of money missing and a thousand places it could be. No doubt about it, someone's making a right bags of the company accounts. Ah, but giving out to you won't fix anything. I'll speak to my manager, see what he thinks. Yeah, you see, it's all to do with this software we're installing and people wiping their computer constantly to hide evidence. d Dutch, thank you for 32 months. Hiram says, uh, I'm trying to resolve an HR issue regarding Calogero Trovati, but their info isn't loading into the system. Just want to check if there was an IT outage or something. <laughs> this, is, this is sounding more and more dodgy every day. Discard. No regrets. My CPU and CPU cooler are broken and I don't even care. Lol. But my boss says you need to fix it so I can do my job, so whatever. Oh, and I also downloaded like 20 viruses, lol, so you might want to clean that up. Required by the 5th of February. Not gonna lie, I had enough of this stupid computer and smashed it up. Yeah, I admit it. Literally took the side off and kicked it right off the desk and stamped on it, and it felt so good. Dumb thing deserved it anyway, and if those viruses spread and take down half the PCs in the company, I'd be pretty happy, lol. Wait, is this from Pops? <laughs> from passionate.pops at ira.tech. Replace the CPU, air cooler, viruses, and boot it. Okay. We'll fix your machine for your Pops. Don't worry, mate. We got this. He literally kicked it right in the CPU. That's what he did. Trucker Bell, thank you for 10 months. What have we got in there? An i3. 
An i3 6100T. Dear God. We might have an air cooler. It's pronounced Rosine. Don't sold an Irish name wrong in front of an Irishman, lol. Okay. What if we chuck? Oh, we've got an i3. Look, we've got a used one lying around. We'll get rid of that one. Get rid of that one as well. We happen to have an i3 6100T. How convenient. Do we have a CPU cooler? Yes, we do. We have all kinds. Rip your English. <laughs> right, that's the Cryori C7. I'm hoping it doesn't care too much about what we replace it with. We'll see. I3, this one's... What? This one's broken. 6200T, so we'll sell that one and we'll stick this one in there. Get rid of that. Hmm, so that's what they had. That's an LGA socket. I wonder if it matters if we just put something cheap back on. 40 CFM. We've got a 30, 35 CSM. Maybe they won't be bothered. Oh, it doesn't like that. It, it's, it doesn't like that. <laughs> it's not having any of that. Hmm. Again, does it need to be the same one? Or just one that's at least as good as the last one. If, it, if that was the case, we might be able to get away with the Arctic Freezer. No, I didn't forget the Pace Banner. Okay, it's happy with that. So it just has to be at least as good. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. Check it can boot. We want to remove the viruses. <laughs> We did indeed finish Mickey. Amazingly, although I think it took us out as a, it took it out of us a bit that race. Okay, the work here is done. Collect. Woo. Feedback. God, can I not catch a break? I only just got rid of this thing. Like, thanks. Technically, you did a great job, but also I hate it. <laughs> Somebody's not happy. Yeah, he gives you the stick back. Fine. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got chalk dust all over my computer. Probably not great for the components. Unrelated, I hope. My network connection's been a bit spotty. Can you check if you've got a spare minute? So there I was, making adjustments to fi my 563rd brand update proposal, staring at the screen, digital pen in my hand, when I realized, maybe all this technology is what's really holding me back. <coughs> Don't get me wrong, computers are great, especially for art. Don't know how classical painters could work with no undo button. But I'm working with traditional brand, and that means I need to get in touch with my traditions to really understand the visual journey I'm trying to take. Options in the inspirational station are a bit limited, since I chucked all the furniture out when I started, but one of the walls is painted black. Grabbed a set of chalks out of my art supplies, and boom, we're in business. Having a blast, but I forgot how dusty chalk is. You can clean it pretty easy, right? Clean out the dust, boot the machine. Blah de blah. Dan Rofat, thank you for 39. Dear me, that is, that is pretty dusty. I have no idea what colour it was, Alex.
I mean, as if blowing chalk dust all around the workshop is ever going to be a good idea. Oh, I hate this one. What was it they wanted? Blink or something. Blinked. Yeah, they need the Trojan installed as well. Every machine needs the Trojan installed. I threw it away, Tech Tiger. I went into the kitchen and poured it down the sink. Trojan installed. Don't blame me, I had the same with larger cans there at the fridge. Half of them exploded. Um, yeah. Collect, collect. Thanks for the clean up. I'll try not to clean the blackboard erasers next to the PC this time. Good man. Bargains, bargains, bargains. We've added new stock. Go and check it out. GPU bundle, RAM raffle. Should we buy some stuff? A giga bundle. I like the sound of this. Go to shop. Let's have a look. How much money have we got? Oh, we've only got nine grand. Hmm. Cooler crates, motherboard bundles, and GPU bundles. What are we sure of? We've got six motherboards. Decent selection of graphics cards. Hmm. Cooler crates. Maybe, maybe we'll get a cooler crate. Actually, is it? What kind of cooling? Is it this one or this one? Get a, let's get three of them. And we'll roll the dice on a GPU bundle. $900, there we go. Your stuff should turn up tomorrow. I love that. Okay. Discard that. Today we're welcoming some exciting news in the decor catalogue. New arrivals. Okay. Oh my god, I remember those mouse. That mouse there, I remember those. IBM mouse. Dear me. Heart of Stone Physical Edition. <laughs> That's the, um, uh, what's it called? The Utah Teapot, I think it was called. It was like in the early, in the early days of graphics processing in Silicon Graphics Corporation. The Utah Teapot was used as like a, a test bed. Like if you could get a computer to render that and then they had different shaders on it. Um, that one's got what they call a Fong shader, which was like a, it, it dealt with specular highlights and stuff. And we used to have to write these things at university. But the Utah teapot in the 80s was a classic thing in computer graphics. Because it had a lot of curved round surfaces. So mathematically it was difficult. Oh, we should get some hanging plants on the wall. That'd be cool. Oh, <laughs> look at this chair. What the heck is that? Oh, beanbag. I bet you get it, though, and you can't sit in it. Oh, no. Six grand. Oh, cool. 
got off an arcade machine. <laughs> the trouble is, like, you're going to get these sofas and you can't sit on them. You'll get an arcade machine, you can't play on it. Like, all this stuff here. What's this? Oh, okay. The night shift. Fine, yeah, whatever. Don't care. <laughs> your order has been delayed. Regrets inform you that your recent order from Uncle Tim's bargain basement has been delayed. And one of the following. Delivery vehicle lost in transit. Leaves on the line. Customs inspection failed bribe. Emergency asset denial. Act of God. Miscellaneous shenanigans. Whoops. <laughs> and your other order has been delayed as well. <laughs> you just got to love it. It's so dodgy. Right, that's the one I think we sent to Night Shift. Because we can't be bothered with that one. No, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No, I, I, I tell a lie. The data self-destruct mechanism has failed. They need to erase everything on the drive. Replace the, no, it is. We sent that to Night Shift. We'll leave that for her. Right, so we're just left with these three. I wish you could use that row as well. I'm going to put that there. So this has got Fractal Design R5 Titanium. A Gigabyte X399. That's quite... Can we not just put this in stock? We don't need to have it in a box, do we? I mean, it's not a bad motherboard. I don't understand why we can't just put this in our inventory. What's on there? That's got a lot of fans on it. Be Quiet Pure Wings 2. That's got a decent power supply as well. A Corsa RM850. That's not bad, though. This is just a case, isn't it? See, why can't I just put this in the inventory? I don't get it. I have to, like, put it over here and take up a space. That's got an X299 Deluxe Prime. Those fans are not bad. Not a bad motherboard, is it? Open the drive bay. No, that's so cool. I like that. got a feeling we've a Corsair Crystal Series 570X RGB I've got a feeling we've taken that out I don't see it we must have nicked it oh that is an awful looking I don't like the layout of this <clears throat> I wonder if that motherboard fit in here. Actually, I've got a whole bunch of motherboards that would fit in here. But will that one fit in there? Yeah, it will, actually. <clears throat> Do not like this fan. Not in that position, in that colour on a white case. You need a white fan, really. <clears throat> Just wondering if you build something off this one or build something off this one. X399. That is meaty. What the heck? 
A Gigabyte X399 design designer. That's that one. DDR4, socket TR4. <coughs> Yeah, it is a thread ripper. I don't think we've got any thread rippers. I might be wrong. But I don't think we have. Oh, no, we do have a thread ripper. We have one. Oh, no, we have two, actually. Three. Four. I didn't realize we had so many thread rippers. Oh, no, that's the shop. That's the shop. <laughs> Durr. No, we don't have any thread. Yes, we do. We do have a thread ripper. That's amazing. One second. Well, I'm not... Yeah, that's not a bad case for a thread ripper. Uh, game, please. Thank you. CPU. Oh, yeah. Chunky boy. Eight slots of RAM. We could build a beast with this. Don't think we have any coolers with thread ripper, though. Nah. <laughs> There's no way we have that. Memory. What was the spec on that? Motherboard. Maximum RAM speed 3600 DDR4. 3600 DDR4. That's wasted on it. It's a good piece of memory, that. Don't know, if you're building a, a workstation with a thread ripper, you kind of want a decent amount of RAM. I'm tempted just to throw that in, though. Just because there's nothing else, and I don't really want to have to buy it. Uh, King Wayne, good night, mate. I could just stick that in there. Man, I need to buy a cooler for it. We've got power supplies. Hang on, what graphics card can we stick in it? We've not really got a great selection. The 3070 is pretty good. Probably not a bad shout for this. Power supply wise for a thread ripper how much is how much power does a thread ripper CPU draw? Couple of hundred watts. Thirty seventies draw in couple of hundred watts. I reckon get away with a six hundred. I reckon that would do it. I don't really want to stick in the seven fifty, want a six hundred will do it. We're going to have to buy a cooler. Also, I don't know what drives we've got storage-wise. Not exactly big on storage. <laughs> Lol, Baz. It was lying around. 600 for a thread ripper. Well, hang on a minute. I didn't just take it wasn't based on guesswork. This thread ripper here, 16 core, is drawing 180 watts. Why would I need more? The most the biggest one we have is a 280 watt. On top of the graphics cards, 220 is 500. Uh, 
Put an M2 drive. Just need a cooler. Cheap PC. PC, CPU cooling. <coughs> Is our thread ripper? I know it's got eight slots around, but I don't have eight sticks around, do I? It's black inside. Ninety dollars, forty-five dollars. We're going to couple of them just so we've got a spare one. 832 gigs. Do you, do you honestly think we'll get our money back on that if we sell it? <laughs> she got a discount on the Be Quiet Law. What else would we need to stick in here? We've got the CPU cooler in. We've got more or less a working machine. And then there's this one. This has already got an 850. Actually, we could nick the 850 out of this. Stick it in that. We'll swap the power supplies around. There you go, Baz. You feel better about that, mate? Nice modular power supply. Don't know what we're going to stick in this one yet. Actually, let's work out what we're going to put in there. Seuss Prime X299 Deluxe. <clears throat> wow, four gig. Memory speed, blimey. You think we should try and look and see if we can get some thread ripper cool some what, sorry. Ah, yeah, but I don't know when they're going to turn up. But yes, we could just wait. We could wait and see what the um, gyms, whatever stuff turns up with. CPU. Oh, we don't have any compatible CPUs. I thought we had loads. That's disappointing. Dang it. This build is on hold. Wasn't that one? That was the just the case, wasn't it? And that's just a shell. Uh, Jake, thank you for 57 months. Tuscan, thanks for 54. Baz, 76. Like I'm a loyal customer since 76 years. Going to have a GPU for free. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you one from Jim's shop, mate. You'll be fine. I think we're done here for today. How do I mark them as red? That's annoying. Is that a bag of coffee beans? Like 
from whatever. Okay. Two boxes in Jim's room. Yeah, but, you know, we've got to wait until, is it Thursday? When he comes? Yeah, it comes tomorrow. Rigs, rigs. Let's see what we've got in the lottery of life. A broken Corsa. Brilliant. A Patriot Burst 240. Meh. A broken 60 gig drive. Half a gig of M2. That's not bad. 240 gig of M2. 240 gig of, we've got two of those. A terabyte SSD. 480 gig SSD. A half a terabyte Viper. Quarter of a terabyte SSD. A broken GeForce, a T-Force bit of RAM. <clears throat> Motivator RAM. This is not bad. 8 gig G skill. It's not bad, is it? Another 8 gig. That, that, that's a win. Some super fast Vengeance RAM. I think we've done all right. Look at all this RAM. I think we've done all right out of this. That RAM could go in the Threadripper. Be quiet, dark rock, slim air cooler. Do you know what? That's not too bad. We need to sell some junk, though. We've got a lot of broken stuff lying around. got lucky this time i'll get you next time gadget right let's check our emails top secret data scrub that can go project is a go thanks for helping me out on pc i just got ready to kick off project cash money need to find some banknotes on a scanner but after that i should be smooth sailing from here to profitsville what are you going to buy with your share of the money i think i might get a yacht from the finance director this is so dodgy. I did that ticket. Thanks. Thanks for doing your job. Diane Gasp. Did you read my book yet? <gasps> Already working on the sequel to make it quick. <gasps> Speaking of, saw my graphics card said armor on it and was like, oh, cool. Because if a graphics card just stop a bullet, I could definitely use that in my next book. But apparently not. It wasn't even a bullet either, just a pellet from an air rifle. So it's a lie, basically. Anyway, I need a new graphics card. By the way, can you check the printer? Lay from Marketing wants to copy my book, so I was going to print one off. But yeah, I can't get it to work. Can't believe how popular my book is already. Got four-star reviews online. There's like 17 reviews, and they're pretty much all one-star each, but I think you're supposed to add them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the way it works. Still planning the next story, so if you've got any ideas for computer crimes, let me know. I'll credit you in the special thanks. I must remember that when looking at Amazon reviews. Just, just add up the stars. Computer's fixed. Printer's fixed, sorry. Okay, what do you want? Replace the graphics card. I'm not sure what with. What have you got? You got a 2060. She put a pellet through a 2060. Eek. I don't think we have. <clears throat> we don't have anything that can replace that 2060. Like, the best we've got is a, well, like a 1060. We're going to have to buy one. How much is he paying for this? $720. Okay. That's not too bad. 
So she has an MSI RTX 2060 Super Armor OC. What can we get? She has that, basically. We're not going to make much money on this one. Yeah, I don't know. Just, just get another one, I guess. There's not a lot we can do about it. Just have to wait for the stock to come in. Right, what else have we got? Your row. Then this one needs a clean it sweep and then a network interface diagnostic via blinked. They asked for a picture of a tractor as though desktop wallpaper as well. What are they like? I've got about six tutorials left to watch on YouTube. So YouTube. So I'm pretty much a qualified IT technician. That means I'm in demand though. As I'm sure you know, got three machines on the go already. So thought you could handle this one for me. Okay, so wallpaper, software, paying a hundred dollars. Woo. When he blinked. Dr. Introvertius, thank you for 21 months, sir. We need blinked on there. We need the wallpaper. What else do we need? Something else. Clean it pro. Flip it out. Come on. Right, we need a tractor, and then we need to run the other tools. Ooh, can I just multitasking? Woo! Trojan complete. Done. Easy hundred dollars. <clears throat> Top stuff, mate. I knew you'd be able to handle it. Right. Haru. Listen, I just want to apologize about smashing up my PC a bunch and ranting on about it. It wasn't cool, and I'm sorry, especially since you put a bunch of work in to get it fixed up every time. It's just... My dad was killed by a computer. It happened a couple of years ago, and I've hated technology ever since. I never even got to say goodbye. I still miss him. There's no excuse for what I did, but I figured at least we owe you an explanation. Just want to say sorry. His dad was killed by a computer. Okay. Top secret. Prepping for Black Op. This PC is mission critical, but it feels hot during operation. Figure out what's wrong with the cooling system and get it fixed. ASAP. Irotech's future, and perhaps the free world as we know it, depends on your success. One last thing. It's a stealth op, so black out any RGB lighting. It's for an upcoming infiltration mission. I get in, plant the hardware, and get out. But this is a black op. Maximum deniability. I'm sure I don't need to tell you what happened if you leaked any of this information. <laughs> this is so dodgy. Right. Diagnose and fix the cooling problem. And make it go cold and dark. Place the air cooler. What's it even cooler than an I-5? It's 
See, they had an RGB, but they don't. They want to go cold and dark anyway. So I'm thinking we just put a green one on the. Stick an Arctic freezer on the. Oh, it, it doesn't like that. Why doesn't it like that? That was the CPU cooler that was 100 CFM. But it doesn't like it. Even though it's equivalent to that one. Why does it not like that? It says inferior air cooler installed. Is what it says. It, it thinks it's inferior. I don't know why it thinks that's inferior. See, why is this inferior to that? I know it's this one's got RGB, but in terms of cooling, it's the same, really. The other was a twin fan. Oh, God. That's the same airflow. Well, we're going to have to buy one. What was this one? That was a Rungentech Lito Pro RGB. Is that one, isn't it? Seventy dollars. I don't know. Just order another one of them. That's all we can do, isn't it? I found her. What's this? I got. Oh, she, well, oh, she got a PC back, but she's missing the power supply, so I can't plug her in. Don't forget, she needs one of those dinky little ones, SFX, I think. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I told you my, my old PC would turn up. Oh, I can't remember what we ordered. She has one of those weird power supplies. But I can't remember the wattage that she had. What's her budget? $200. I honestly can't remember what we put in there. I'm guessing it's like a 650. Let's just get one of them. That'll do. I wonder if I can fix that PC before, um, before build though. Woohoo! Stuff's arrived! Way! All of our parts that we need. And then the lottery of life. What did we get? We got an i5 6600, which is sweet. The salary. We got a 16 core thread ripper. No way! As if we got one of them. We got a broken i9. A couple of i3s. A Pentium G456. Dear God. An i5. We've got an eSports air cooler. Because eSports makes it better. Oh, we've got a purchase offer on the two machines, so we missed the deadline. 
See, they don't come on a Thursday night. They come on a Wednesday night. This is a lie. Anyway, let's see what they offered us. So we got offered... Would you take $2,000 for this machine? The fractal design that we put together with an i5 and a 1060 card is offering $2,000 it cost us five eight one to build it with a profit of fourteen hundred dollars. <throat> Take that. With this one, ran some benchmarks and it clocked forty four ninety. If I remember, didn't we, didn't we um, overclock the stuff before we sent it out? I'm sure we did. A thousand dollars to build it, offering twenty three hundred. I think we overclocked the i five. I remember. Anyway, profit of $1,200. Eh. We'll take that as well. Okay, let's fix this one up. We've got loads of fans now. Let's get rid of the broken one. Wait, did I put paste on that? I can't remember. I think I did, but I'm going to double do it, do it anyway. Cold and dark. Job done. Woo, profit of fifty dollars. Yeah. Right, let's fix this PC again. Dear God. What has she been doing to this? Okay, power supply. I can't remember where the power supply goes on this. There you go, love. Try not to lose it. $85 profit. I'm so stoked she's back and better than ever. Uh, what else have we got? Pop quiz time. Hang on. We're going to do something with this. I think we got some more RAM we could consider putting in here. Possibly this stuff. It's got two eight gigs in there now. What else do we need? We bought a uh, CPU cooler, didn't we? Arctic Freezer 50R. That won't go on because the memory's in the way. <laughs> no. 
Hang on, we need to move the ram over. Will you game, please? There we go. Let's put the cooler in. Oh my god. I don't even think we can fit the ram in. <laughs> Maybe we can squeeze it in. Maybe. No, it won't go in though. It'll go in here. I don't think you can put it on what we might be able to in this game. No, we seriously can't get any ram in though. I can use one of the eight slots because that cooler is stupidly big. I'm thinking we should water cool this bad boy. I don't think that's uh, a good solution. It is. It's an absolutely ginormous cooler. Well, no, because we've put the ram in, and then the cooler, then the cooler won't fit, probably. We can try it. Is that open? That's open. So if you put the memory in... And then try and put the cooler back on. This won't go on. It's just stupidly big. So, in that case, let's try going to the water cooling shop for a CPU block for a socket TR4. We're going to have to overclock this bad boy. I don't like the price difference. Why are some of these like $75 and then suddenly it jumps to 300 Why is there such a big difference in price? What are we going to get for that money? They look considerably smaller than these. Like, this looks like a proper thread ripper kind of block, whereas these things just look like little tiny things. But it doesn't give us any information about the cooling performance. I don't know if I want to spend 300 on a cooling socket, you know. I'm guessing we could overclock it better with one of these, maybe. But then we'd have to get a really good graphics card in there to keep up with the CPU to get a good score. <clears throat> RGB nickel. I tell you what, let's, let's experiment. I'm going to get one of them. And then... Probably going to have to pull these drive bays out. That's probably going to have to come out. If we have a top rad... I think we should be able to get a rad up there. And then we'll put a tank down here somewhere. We don't need all these. I should even get a rad there, maybe. Put the tank here, and then put a rad along the top, possibly. I don't know what rads we've got in stock. We have a, a 240. And we have various reservoirs that we bought last time. And we have pipes. No idea, B777. No idea.
radiators. We have a 240. Let's get a 360. We'll get an RGB tank. And then pipes. Nickel rigid pipe. That looks very, very tasty. Oh, look at that. $500 for copper rigid pipe. I'm going to get some of that because it looks cool. Connectors. We already own the copper, so we use that as well. Coolant. Don't think it really matters on the coolant, because if it's copper pipe, it's presumably not transparent in any way, so it doesn't matter. Water-cooled GPUs. Now we're talking. What card do we put in there? 3070 OC. 3070 OC. Should we overclock that as well? <laughs> We just go ham on this. 3070, there you go. I don't know if we can, we've got space for two separate reds though. We've got a 240 and a 360 potentially, but I don't know where the tank will go. So this is a bit of a risk and it's $1,450 for that. That's insane. That is insane. Why is that so much money? That's not worth it. Hey, Paul. I find that random stutters in P3D can be fixed by installing an X-Plane. That worked for me. All right, should we order that? All of that for next day. Okay, let's finish these jobs off. False advertising. Did you read my book yet? Already working on the sequel. Speaking of, saw my graphics card said armor. Wait, what? We've done that one, haven't we? Oh. That's to order the graphics card for it. Done. Hundred dollars. Woo. Hang on, finish this one. Uh this rig needs to be able to play SBGO at 4K, but something's holding it back. Can you work out what it is? Things got a messy inside while I was investigating myself, but I thought I'd leave it as is to make things more interesting for you. Hey mate, got a colleague here who wants to play that strike back at 4K to show off his new monitor. I've seen the advanced hardware upgrades tutorial vid. Now I've seen pretty much got it to hand. But then I was like, hold up. This could be a great learning opportunity for our mate in IT. Curious to see if you can fix it. Okay. So I need to work out what to upgrade it to. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon it is Counter-Strike. Let's have a look at what it needs to play. Strike back, go.
not counter strike, strike back. I'm guessing it's a graphics card upgrade. But he wants to play it in 4K, didn't he? So he's going to need an RX 580 with 8 gig of VRAM. Which I very much doubt we have lying around, but you never know. Actually, let's check our inventory. We've got an RX 580 with 4G. That's a shame. That's a real shame. We could have used one of these, but we don't have enough RAM. No, it's VRAM, not RAM. It's VRAM what you need. This means we have to have the 8G version. I can't believe that. We have two of these in stock and none of the 8 gig RAM versions. That's brutal. Look at this. For $5 in price, for $5, you go up 10 megahertz. And then the whole thing is like another four centimeters bigger. How does that work? <laughs> For $5, the card is like that much longer. And you got 10 megahertz. It's not even worth it. Right, so if you order one of them, it doesn't need anything else unless there's a power problem. What's the power supply in this? Twelve hundred. Okay, that's not an issue. <laughs> 